15 bottles of flux in the wall. 15 bottles of flux. Oh my god. How many hours is It's finally silenced. Ow. I hate using gauntlets. So please, for the love of God, never do it again. Over four. Hundred bottles on the wall to do that. Four hundred. It took four hundred for you to come out here. Oh my god. Candy. <laughs> I appreciate Candy. you silencing Candy. him. Thank you. Candy. You don't like gauntlets? That might be smart. Yeah. Might be smart. Wherever you are, ghost, you can't have the gauntlet. You can. <sighs> <laughs> what? So are you expecting well me to give it to you? Yes! Well, I'm not. Okay? So shut up. No! You see anything lately? No. I mean, clouds. Little tree. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, wanna head up? Peekaboo? <gasps> sure, you I guess. You guys have fun with that. Ooh. Not coming? Take it easy. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why would I want to? What are you guys all worrying about? Look! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I guess we're here. Hey. Thank god they dragged yeah. us along then. Yeah, that was right. really nice of them. Maybe we should talk to our gang? Maybe? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be too certain, but we can give it a shot. Echo, why are you- She's they in the shadows me, again. Hello, Echo. You're insane if you think we're getting out of there with- Try again. <laughs> You're insane if you think that we're going out there without that white dust on our wings. We'll just stay here. Don't miss us too much. Fair enough. Alright, fine. Okay. There's so many people out there, and we don't have any luster tests on us. Akko and I will stay here. Come back if you have a question for us. Okay. Sure. Hello, Clover. Hey, Clover. Nope, oh, she's just- she's just Clover. Oh, there's more shit. Mitty looks out at the sky quietly. Thank you, Hote. Hey. Thank we'll just you. stay here and look after the ship while you go and get look for those materials, okay? Stay safe. Aww. Mm -hmm. Dreamer? Looks like we made it to the outpost he was talking about. Go explore for now, alright? Try and find some of that ambrosium so we can get going already, okay? We don't want to linger. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Whatever. Hop. Oh. Hey guys, Hop. find the cat. Uh oh. So here we are, wherever this place You're is, I guess. looking for the cat. What the fuck? Just... So this is the place, I'm guessing? I guess so. Here we are! Nearest mining outpost. You should be able to find the right resources around here to restock that boat of yours with enough supplies to last a trip to Avalon- A trip to an Avalon town or something. Thank you so much, Lazarus. Hey, I'm always happy to help with some fellow sailors in need. <laughs> Just remember to stop uh, this time. Remember to- God, whoever typed this had a stroke today. Trick instead of trip? Stop instead of stock? Come on, man. <laughs> Goddamn. Just remember to stock up this time. Get as much as you have the money for, and if possible, a bit extra. Karuna is the lady that lives in the building on the hill there. I'm sure you can talk to her about getting some materials for your trip or something. Stay safe! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Hello. Small. Hello. It's not every day that we find a ship such as yours. You're quite lucky, actually. Why, thank you. You look mm. very nice. Yeah, I mean, I like your we would have stayed stranded out there. Who knows if those guys would have come back or not. Yeah. This is a cute little place. Solomon? Damn. You know, if this place didn't make me want to throw up everywhere, it could be very lovely. That's... 
damn it, nice. I wanted to pardon Marcia. <laughs> Hey, um, I do your but in hindsight, that would probably be a horrible idea. I have my Zephyr, I just wouldn't be able to clutch it because I'm stupid. Yeah, hey. hello Solomon. Hey there! Welcome to the Merchant Outpost! Remember, curfew is still underway at its sunset, so seek shelter as soon as possible at sunset. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I pretty much That's cemented fair. that this is an everywhere problem. Jesus. Good. I like your uh -huh. outfit, it's fancy. Oh. Galen? A young man with blonde hair would seemingly be arguing with another nearby man in black and red with his shirt open. I'm telling you, Corwin! Someone is taking my supplies! You don't seriously expect me to believe it's another one of those spirits, do you? Haven't you heard the rumors, Galen? Spirits around here have been... seen doing stranger activities than your average ones. So would you really be surprised if one of those activities was taking your stuff? And the man in black and red shrugs nonchalantly. Yes, I would be, considering those boorish monsters do nothing but walk around at night and attack the first thing that moves. How would they have the intelligence to locate my goods and take them before the sun rises? Hmm. This sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Not much more I can do for you, pal. At the end of the day, if you're saying your supplies go missing at night, there's no way in CO will be getting them back. So I would just live at the loss and move along. Move along? That's my living you're talking about, Corwin! I can't just move along when- Before the blonde angel Galen could finish, Corwin had already been leaving, scoffing a bit as he goads. Galen watches him go with a look of utter disbelief. Ah! Oh, unbelievable! So this is really the kind of help I'm supposed to respect in this place? What kind of guard doesn't help track a thief, huh? Uh, you- Hold up, you said you were robbed? He visibly jumps. <laughs> Galen screams as you sneak up on him, flying back and facing you, taking out a small skyroot stick from his back pocket and holding it out threatening at you. Hey now, you don't want to mess with this, you hear me? I have a decently sized stick and I'm not afraid to use it! <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, uh... <sighs> Relax. Uh, no need for that! <laughs> um, we just couldn't help but overhear your situation. Oh yeah? And who are you supposed to be? Spies? Or something? Working for the other traitors around here? Let me guess, this is all one big ruse of theirs, huh? Steal my stuff just to get me out of their hairs, huh? And we're only a nice joke, everyone! I swear I'm gonna lose my feathers with how hard I'm laughing! Now whoever sold my stuff... Okay, look, we're not with any other merchants or whatever, we're passing through. Interesting time to go on a road trip, don't you think? He glances back at you. Except this time, it would take a closer look at your appearances. Wait a minute. Do I know you from somewhere? Um, probably. Uh, we kind of- Karaoke like... in Arcadia! He stares at you for a moment. No, definitely not the karaoke types. Um... Oh! What about the realm-wide cloud fishing tournament, Tournament of 98? You may recognize me as the one selling amulets outside the lower seats of the field. Yeah, um... No, no, no. We, we, we've never met you before, but you may have heard of us. We're the heroes of Aetheria. That's uh, a very ironic title, considering the only that only one of you is an angel, and one of you looks like a demonic antagonist in a children's book. <laughs> wait, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He puts his hands up and surrender. <laughs> Calm down there, alright? I was just messing around. He holds out one hand to shake yours. The name is Galen. Galen Brimstock. Pleasure to have you make your acquaintance, heroes. Honestly, I'm lucky to have bumped into your little team here. Oh? What do you mean? If you overheard the situation, then I think you would have overheard that I could use some heroes right now. See all these stalls? All nice and furnished, full of supplies for merchants to sell to gain profit. Now look at that one. He points to a pitifully empty stall that seems worse for wear. That? That one is mine! Because someone thinks it's funny to sneak into my little profit paradise and steal all of my materials before I had a chance to offer them to travelers like you. You can see the problem, right? Well, I thought that other angel you were talking to said it possibly could have been like a celestial spirit. Okay, something. I don't know about the spirits in the part of the Aether you hail from, but my little section of land, celestial spirits don't tend to methodically break into stalls to steal items of particular value before running off into the night like the little criminal it is. But maybe that's just me. Okay, so yeah, maybe you have a point. 
Who do you think stole your items, though? Who knows? There are suspects all around us. Galen looks out at all of the merchants that surround you in their various stalls, minding their own business to sell and buy their, at their discretion. I wouldn't put past any of these greedy, money-loving wing fluffers to target my exotic and incredibly valuable wares for their own personal benefit and gain. Tell you what, if you help me find my stolen goods, I'll let you choose one from the stock free of charge. Come on, this is a deal you can't refuse. Okay, we're in a bit of a hurry. We don't really have time for this. A hurry, huh? What kind of person goes to a trading outpost in a hurry? Or is that just your excuse for not wanting to help me out here? Okay, so remember the whole Heroes of Etheria thing? Well, yeah. We're on a mission to help your realm against the Celestial Spirits, meaning saving you again. Sounds difficult and festive. Mm -hmm. Definitely the definition of hero work right there. And how exactly do the great heroes plan on doing all of that? Saving our realm and such, of course. Well, we were tasked to find the Trials of Ciel and surpass them. I, I, I know they're like somewhere Their hidden. eyes, His eyes light up and he reaches over, putting an arm around your shoulders and grinning. Listen to this, alright? I think this is a deal you'll really like. What if I were to tell you that one of the items I lost when the rest of my goods were stolen was a valuable tome that perfectly described the locations of these trial thingies? Wait, really? Sure as sugar clouds, arm girl! So how about it? You help me get my stuff back by doing some kind of cool hero thing to expose a real thief in the scrappy outpost, and I'll give you access to that little book for your quest. Is it a deal? I um, mean, kind of sounds pretty spicy. A book, huh? I mean, it's definitely more direction than Aelin's given us. True. Yeah, there's always that chance exactly. you could give us more info. Yeah, otherwise we're going to be running across the entirety of Aetheria for... Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Sure, we're pressed on time, but this small detour could save us a lot in the future. All yeah, right, the... Galen. Got a deal. This poor dude. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Maybe you heroes aren't that bad, huh? Come on, then! Let's go catch ourselves a thief and get my items back. And that book for you, of course. All right, fine. Whatever. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi. The guard stands at attention, looking over the entirety of the merchant stills at the outpost. His arms are behind his back and his chest is puffed out as he walks. Hey, are you Corwin? I, I couldn't help over here earlier. Are, are you a guard here? Hmm? Yeah, I'd be Corwin. I'm out of the security at the outpost. Obviously make sure that nothing goes terribly wrong while the merchants are here. And I'm around to enforce the curfew as well. It was put in place by King Seraph. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, we're actually the, uh, heroes of Aetheria. I've heard of your deeds to help our kingdom, though despite how entertaining the stories are, I must say I'm rather skeptical of their validity. Quite true that you managed to fight an armada of usurpers for the sake of the king, all without the convenient capability of flight. Well, I mean, kind of? Yeah, if the tales are true, then perhaps I would look forward to seeing you in a fight here or there. You never know. So, what can I do for you? Um, would you happen to know anything about Galen's- And say less. He massages the bridge of his nose in irritation as he glances towards the ransacked merchant stall nearby. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I can't just go chasing off a re after a thief on a whim. We don't have any suspects, and I'm still not certain that the perpetrator was of this world, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so you think it was, you know, the Celestial Spirit route? How else could possibly explain it? He states that the thief reveals himself at night. If it were an angel, would you not believe them to be far more fearful of leaving their homes in safety at night? I mean, that is a good point. Still, I suppose if this investigation of yours is keeping him busy and out of my hair for the time being, be opposed to a bit of a break from his antics and melodrama. Oh. Hmm. It does make a good point. So this one oh, must be Galen's stall. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. How'd you know? No, I'm I wonder why. <laughs> or, I wonder. or is this just a stall that sells air? Maybe it's an air stall. <laughs> 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 you sell air? I gotta go jump off now. Goodbye. I got her. Hello, hello. My name is Adele. I'm a traveling merchant that focuses around... Uh, botany. 
What can I help you with this wonderful sunny day? She beams happily. Well, Curious what she's got to sell. Trace, yeah. Flowers. Oh. Not surprising. <laughs> no oh, botanist, botanist backpack. That's perfect for dipshit Mal over here. I don't even. Okay, uh, Adele, is it? Um, do you know anything about Galen's stolen goods? She immediately gets an unamused look. Listen, if you're with Galen, just tell him that for the last time, I don't have his useless goods with me. Oh, that's rude and I'm called for it! You know it! My goods are not useless! At least they're far more useful than flowers! Galen shoots, shoots to Adele from nearby. She simply sighs. <sighs> Here's the thing. I didn't do anything against Galen. But if he were to leave the area since he has no reason to be here without anything to sell, you wouldn't see me complaining. You can't honestly tell me that you don't look back at him now and don't see a self-righteous nuisance. So you have a reason to get rid of him. Don't we all? He tends to drive us crazy with his delusions of grandeur. Sometimes you have to grow up. He clearly never did. He constantly talks about getting rich with treasure by going out where others don't dare to go. But honestly, he's not strong enough to go out into the wild of the Aether by himself. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if no one here likes him, then it sounds like anyone has cause for doing this. Yeah. But who'd be willing to go out at night to do it? Me. I don't know. Can't go off base intuition, though. Oh, a customer! Hey, hello! <laughs> My name is Anita. Can I do anything for you? I have magic items and all sorts of stuff like that. Let me know if, if anything catches your eye, okay? She seems quite hyped and energized as she talks to you. Hyper, but I'll let it slide. Let's see. Or, she got a song. It, it, oh, there it goes. Ooh, dark. Okay. Oh, is that a. Oh, regeneration What's stone. What's a regeneration stone? Oh, those are really yeah. good. And a healing stone. Um, uh, Anita, uh, do you know anything about Galen's stolen goods? Oh, Galen, huh? Um, no, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I, uh, I guess I hope he finds those supplies soon. Although, if you ask me, I think a celestial spirit took them. A spirit did not figure out how to use a gate and systematically steal my items! It was you, was it not, Anita? Sweet on the outside, yet venomous within! Show everyone your true color, green with jealousy for my great wares! Galen says righteously, I'm serious! I think one of those spirits took your stuff, okay? So stop hiring random people to target our business and just leave us alone and file a report like a normal person. Exactly what a guilty person would say. Kaylin tisks. But I'm- So you don't know anything, huh? I'm just as clueless as he is. I just hope my shop isn't targeted next. <laughs> Do you happen to know what Galen sold at all? I don't really know. I never got the chance to see what he put in those crates of his. He tended to be relatively mysterious with what he wanted to sell. Because I knew that if you laid eyes on the majesty of my exotic wares, you would surely want a piece of them for yourselves. And now, they are missing! I suppose I was right to keep my secrets, hmm? Kaelin huffs back. By that logic, since I still don't know what you sold, I didn't steal them! Uh. Uh. Galen blinks in surprise at her logic, seemingly at a loss for words. Okay... And I wonder what exactly made his shit worth stealing, then. Hmm. Okay, we're getting information. Oh, we're nice. Starting jacket. to get some pieces to this puzzle. Yep. The <laughs> male tinkers with some greenish goggles before readjusting them onto his head. He waves at you, leaning over the counter. Hey! Welcome to the Merchant's Outpost of Avalon! Name's Atlas. You're to buy or sell. But what do you have to sell? Oh. A gun? Oh, they got a gun. <laughs> they got a gun. <laughs> That's definitely some stuff. Um, do you know anything possibly about Galen's stolen goods? The merchant's nose wrinkles a bit and he raises an eyebrow. You don't exactly look like Corwin's underlings. 
You some guards in training or something? <laughs> no offense, but I thought that the case was pretty cut and dry. I mean, what else could there be to it? Some celestials appeared in the night, trashed his stall, stole some things, and left. Cool, do you know why everyone keeps defaulting to the celestial spirit stealing thing? Uh, probably because the celestial spirits in this area aren't exactly your normal spirits. Once you act... Strange. If I were you and I wanted to know more, I would ask Dion. He's a strange kid, but I've known him and his mother Mercy for a bit now. No matter what, that kid doesn't tell lies. And he's got some strange stories about what goes bump in the night. To know. Dion, huh? I wonder where that kid's running around. Kalia? 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 Kalia! <laughs> The merchant would be making flower crowns passively, humming the familiar tune of an endearing music disc as she works. Her feet would be up on the table, and she would clearly have the, the most items behind her soul. Galen scoffs. Kalia. It seems she mysteriously always gets so much more to sell than the rest of us. I wonder why that is. Unless she's been stealing her newest wares from unsuspecting victims like me! Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Kalia. Uh, what can I do for you exactly? What does she have to sell then? Skyward poison. Server, Let me please. just take a nap. A a present. Present. There Not we go. Charity. They got a present. Oh yeah, Skyward poison bucket. The blue boa. That's a random shit. Yeah. Parachute. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, maybe that'll save Marshy's ass one of these days. Yeah, honestly, I think you guys need to get a parachute. I want a present. Okay, well, uh, do you know anything about Galen's stolen goods? I'm sorry, I'm confused. Who is Galen again? Galen is hiding near the fountain behind you. He looks like he was just shot in the heart by a, a speeding bullet. <gasps> We've worked on the same talking platform together for weeks! I don't think I've ever seen you before. So I'm gonna guess you're oblivious. Um, are you saying that some of the other merchants have gotten their items stolen? All I have to say is that I must suck to, it must suck to be them. I mean, what else can I say? It's not like I can apologize for it since I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even know who this Galen was until you said something. Oh, come on! Oh, boy. Mm. Huh. Uh, oh, shit. Mark, she now. Is this the kid? I think that's the kid. Oh, my God, oh hello. Great. A child stands near the mines, looking past the crates and barrels carefully with a nervous expression. Uh, hey there, uh, kid. Are you alright? He quickly looks up towards you. Hey. You don't have wings. Are, are are you more of the monsters? But I thought they only came out at night. Oh, uh, what the hell are you talking about? He looks into Rex's eyes and quickly points, backing up a bit afraid. You're a spirit, aren't you? Like the one that threw the apple! Wh what Why do you think he's a spirit? We'll never know. Because <laughs> I saw one! I did! I swear I did! No one believes me! But I saw one of them one night from out the window. It was like you, but not like you. And it was acting really weird. How exactly was it acting weird? It, it went over to one of the trees, and it picked an apple off the tree! Uh, that doesn't seem so bad. And then when it took a bite from the apple, it spit it out! And made like a weird noise when it did, like, blah, like a kind of noise okay um yeah no that that is a little weird hmm. no one believes me but i swear i saw it happen i did hey uh, we, we believe you do you? thank you finally someone who believes me huh you ever heard the story wolf and she- Fuck, that's the- uh, The boy that's that the, called- The boy that cried wolf, that's it. There we go, thank you. Yeah, yeah, the boy that cried wolf, yeah. So these are the mines. And they're barricaded, I guess? Yeah, Well, yeah. Weird. Interesting. Let's keep looking at that. doesn't even acknowledge and give credit to the real spirit. 
Man. Yeah, well, <laughs> sucks to suck. I don't think so much else up here except for this. Percy. Oh. Oh, yeah. This, is this must be the mama. It's the mama. If you see my son Dion around here, pay no heed to his silly antics. He tends to enjoy stirring up trouble with exaggerations of the truth. Hmm. Cat! Yeah, yeah it's like a story of the boy who cried wolf. <laughs> right. going on right now. Oh my god. What's happening? Cat's just I in a violent you. mood. Well, Jeremy did say we can get the stuff in here. <laughs> Galileo, Galileo! Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Andromeda. I forgot how to say his name. Lazarus. <laughs> okay. How? <laughs> We're part Lazarus. of Lazarus crew. Lazarus. Do you remember us? <laughs> we came out here to work on getting some more ice stone and ambrosia for ourselves. Too bad the mines are closed off. We did see that. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect the mines to be closed off. Talk about bad luck. Hmm. Karuna. The woman looked around the shop casually, going You're right, through various shelves. There's literally The three woman looks people. around the shop casually, going through various shelves and cupboards, making sure that everything was perfectly in place. Also, Cam's the one that dropped the ball. I know. <laughs> <laughs> when she notices you enter, she puts on her best store clerk smile. Hello there. Can I get you anything today? Um, are you Karuna? What is there to be of karma? <laughs> <laughs> That would be me. I'm the owner of this shop. Are you in need of any items? I have everything needed for your long trips to the empty skies. Look, I'll just make this quick. We need ambrosia and ice stone. She would suddenly get a bit of a nervous expression. Um, except those items. I'm afraid we're currently having a bit of a shortage on ambrosia and ice stone as of now, since our minds are inaccessible for the foreseeable future. I hope it's not my line. It's not loading. It is your line, <laughs> it's, it's It's not loading. Oh, no, oh shit. Uh, uh, so, you have no fuel in the shop. What the fuck is the point of a shop then? As I said before, the mines are currently inaccessible for the foreseeable future. With the mines closed, it's rather difficult to gather the proper amount of ambrosium and ice stone for travelers. Why are the mines closed? Oh, with the present situations regarding celestial spirits appearing out of nowhere, I'm afraid that it's simply too dangerous within the mines to allow miners down there. These spirits have caused a <laughs> curious resurgence in the natural monsters of the Aether that live with the caverns of our isles. And without proper warriors to take care of these monsters, we can only wait for the next time some Valkyrie visit to take care of the situation. Look, we're the heroes of Aetheria, or whatever. Look, we can handle it. I'm afraid that even with such a title, I cannot allow you down there. I'm sorry. Is there anything else I can help you with? What do you actually have to sell then if it's not a brush? I'm gonna don't. <gasps> Cookies! A lot. That? Yeah, that's a lot. I Gummy you sweat. That, apparently. Ooh, Gummy a sweat. bunch of sweets, blueberries, white tallow candle. Plenty Celestial of things, but notes. all useless to us. Elementum, right. Skyroot bed, Poison tools, ice-tipped arrows, sanitizing soap, enchanted fabric. Kind of stuck, aren't we? Ow! Yeah, we are. This is not I great. felt that love tap, cat, and I didn't feel the love. <laughs> Sucks to suck. <sighs> It is what it is. <laughs> no, we're not even allowed down there. God damn. Why would we be? Well, since when have we listened to rules? Are you gonna- are you gonna break I certainly in? don't. Oh no, cat. Cat, cat. cat. Oh, there they go. Cat, cat. Now we have to go down there. We can't leave without our ghost. Wooden crates. They just barricaded up with shitty crates. Mm hmm We just saw Dreamer bust his ass on them. Enough of an impact, and they'll shatter. So how about a pocket explosive? I saw Give me five momentum. Ethereum. Got you. You said explosions? I'm back. Hey, I okay, don't here, have here. five. Take it. I bought- I got some Ethereum before we left. Okay. Good luck with the Elementum. We can't do this in the broad of day, otherwise we're going to have him oh. on our ass. Uh. Well, we- 
People are taking the curfew. If everyone's hiding system. out at night, yeah. Then we'll just have to take that gamble. Excellent. Come on, let's hit the ship. And then, uh, Dreamer can sit here for a day, you know? I guess I'm time to I'm rest sure up. sure we'll be fine, hopefully. We well, might we have had a chance to actually put some more distance between us and those things. Yeah. Um, we know the Valkyrie uh, who, are coming what, what, here for oh, a bit. Like, we, they probably aren't even following us anymore. We definitely gave them the slip. Yeah. Come on. So let's go crash down. We'll wait till night. Okay. So how do you guys want to kill the time? Um, oh, we hey, could play you. games. There's a key. Oh, hey. Hello, Candy. Yo. Have you changed your mind? About what? The gauntlet? Absolutely not. Why is there only <laughs> one dude behind you? That is the best decision. <laughs> oh, we brought him here. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, we, we, we brought someone. He's gonna help us. Great. Supposedly. I love being found out. Thank you. Truly. Hang on. You wait. stuck it. <laughs> oh. I just had to pick up the chair really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Little sticky fingers. Yeah, you know, you just gotta- You just picked a cat up, too! <laughs> you sure you still wanna sit here? What do you mean? Well, I've got, I've got a conniving plan hatching. Yeah. Not sure if you want in on that. And also, I just stole your seat. Uh, if I'll listen, and, you know, probably take a nap because I care very little for your activities. Why did Never you come mind, along? Then. Look. You forced me to. All right. So sure. plan, right? We need yeah. that ambrosium and we need that ice stone. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down there and we're going to get it by hand. <laughs> and here's so. my train of thought. We don't know who took Galen's shit, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, that's his name? Right. He's right there. Oh, that's yeah. so unfortunate. He, he is right I right. You're saying it to his face. But. I know I am. We also be haven't honest. seen his stuff yet. Because he would have identified it if it was on the shelves, right? Yeah. Alright. If I had to guess, just a random gamble. It's possible that if there was a perpetrator, it could be down there. If no one else is going down there. It would be a good hiding spot. Yeah. Wait Close a minute, by. you leave the ship for like less than 12 hours and you immediately find some kind of cool in-depth undercover investigation thing this mm -hmm. is one that i would happens. require your gauntlet for no she absolutely not i require your gauntlet don't listen to them it's and, not even yeah. a good gauntlet you have better luck with any of the others whether i, I like it or not gauntlet. trouble finds me always without failure every single time Somewhat makes their problem my problem. Is this what you meant when you said you've experienced more than me, even though you've been on for less than six months? Yes. I would like to say that I didn't always have this white streak in my hair, but I definitely have a white streak in my hair now. It didn't come from stress. You, I'm you pretty always, sure you always had, had that, that actually. Thing that you always you had. Did, you did, but it's you, kind you, of you thicker always now. Had it. You, Look, it is thicker. <laughs> I'm mean, going downstairs no. and we're going to wait till it's night. And then no. when everyone's cleared off the aisle, we're going to slip in and we're going to head down there. Okay. Yeah, okay. it sounds fair. Come on. Ow. Is there food in the this fridge? Chill. I gotta- That's I gotta move- I gotta move the- Get in the, the corridor, dumbasses. Sit. And let's pop a squat. So then, what the hell am I supposed to do? Give me you? your gauntlet. I've made this very clear, why do you bother yeah, asking? Yeah, I mean... You're just gonna... Go, what- what am I supposed to do? You know what I come with? You can't tell, but I'm raising my eyebrows in slight concern that you actually asked me to. Last you time I checked, we weren't exactly on the best terms. Yeah, and then you became... You know... This. And now you're more tolerable. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Listen, man, he's bringing me along. I don't see why he wouldn't ask you. Yeah, I really don't see why he is bringing you along. <laughs> Because I'm the best. You fit right in. Look, I'm just saying. I'm offended. <laughs> Do what you want. 
but I mean... It's fine, fine, thing. fine, fine. Just shut up. Fine. Do you have anything? Um... She has a gauntlet that she won't give me. Yeah, I got the gauntlet. Four lesser spells. And a really shitty sword that I didn't think I'd actually need. That makes you more useful than Marshy. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's just take it easy while we wait. Okay. Uh, 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 um, no. No. Hundred balls of flux no. on the wall. One hundred no. balls of flux. Oh. Take it down. down. I'm gonna spout. You're gonna drink the flux. Runs out. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna go turn going. myself into authorities. <laughs> <laughs>